For anyone lucky enough to spend some time here on Lanai, you take with you memories that'll last a lifetime. And if you choose to participate in the Malama Lanai Day Trip with Sail Trilogy, you get to leave a piece of yourself here on the island and help preserve what makes it so special. We got together with HTA and the Maui Visitors Bureau and decided how can we rethink tourism as the state reopened after COVID and everything was shut down. Three million tourists coming to Maui in 2019. How can we do this differently or better? What do we want visitors to learn and to know? And so this idea was created, how can we do a volunteerism type of trip where we invite them in to learn and take a part and do some good and give back. We've always done a reef cleanup program called our Blue Aina, where we take people out and we find reefs off of West Maui and we pull trash off the reef. We're kind of more from that concept to more of a land-based facility following the Malcolm Makai concept. Instead of cleaning trash off the reef, we're gonna go up in the uplands and do work on the Aina because that all flows down to the ocean eventually. It's a unique day trip that supports sustainable and responsible travel per the Destination Management Action Plan that encourages visitors to support the economy and the Aina and this is a cool way to do it. Yeah, the day's really fun. We take small groups, about 40 people. We start off the day giving them the good old trilogy hospitality. Breakfast and cinnamon rolls and starting their day in the right way. And then we take advantage of that time heading over to the island to really set them up, kind of tee them up with information. There's an opportunity to share the history, the culture. That way when they set foot on the island, they already have a bit of a understanding and a background about this special place. And that kind of sets the stage so they can really, when they get on island, focus on the ecological side and the work that's gonna be performed. Now, after you depart the harbor, this is actually one of the places that you'll come and you'll help preserve and restore. This is the Keone Restoration Site. And to learn more about what takes place here, let's catch up with John Sprague from Pulama Lanai. We're standing in the middle of Keone enclosure. And this is over on the leeward side of the island in an area that was historically dry shrubland. This is a conservation restoration area that was built around endangered Ko'olo'o Ula, which is a federally listed endangered species that Lanai actually has a fair amount of. And so Pulama Lanai manages everything from real estate to fleet, sort of semi-government services on the island. These day trips that are happening uh, with people coming over from Maui, explain what's happening uh, when, when people get here. A lot of the history of this island has been economically exploitative. It's about taking, not giving back. So on these day trips, uh, we bring folks out and we ask them to work with some of the invasive species, so we're pulling some of the weeds off the landscape, to then also outplanting, so putting things like Willy Willy and Aali'i and Nayo and things back onto the landscape so that they can take the place of those species that we're taking off. We want to try to foster an environment where the citizens of Lanai, as well as the visitors, can contribute not to taking but to giving something back and moving the bar forward in terms of the conservation and preservation of this place. Brought to you by Maui Visitors and Convention Bureau.